Hi everyone, welcome back to the session. So friends, today's session we are going to see how to create a REST API. Okay, so on premise we create one flow service. After that we are creating one swagger file. That particular swagger file we are using to create a REST API. So let's start the demo. Very first, I am creating one package here. So new package. API demo pkg copy this name recon finish here we are creating subfolder like main folder so control v main folder got created now we require two subfolder so one is service and another is click on new folder another is rest details and then click on finish so first we need to define one service so new flow service give the name as a add demo click on finish empty flow got created so in this uh, like in that particular demonstration we required one addition function so insert first here check you use this particular function recently then but obviously it is available here so pop dot math add ins okay first define input and output so first value one first string value one then second value two Here we required one result to store the output and then click on save. So once you're done with that, then click on that particular service, click on pipeline and here perform the mapping value 1, 2. Okay, value 1, 2, num1, value 2, 2, num2. drop value here and map value to result so if you don't require value and value to in another step you can drop at a real time no problem and then click on save so here we done with our flow service now we are creating one rest resource so click on rest details folder new right click new then rest resource give the name as a add click on next here two options are there resource uh, like rest resource type first empty rest resource and second document type base rest resource okay then click on finish select this option and click on finish now we have a different different options here url template supported methods and map service so click on add option give the name here addition and service name this is a demo service click on ok method get and rest url must start with the slash okay then click on ok after that click on save so rest resource got generated now this is a resource now we need to define a rest api descriptor red so Click on that particular resource, right click new, REST API descriptor and give the name as a addition underscore red. Click on next. Here we have two versions, Swagger 2.0 and Open API 3.x. So we are using this Swagger 2.0. Click on next. So in that particular case, we are a provider, not a consumer. So select provider and REST API descriptor source automatically selected existing REST resource then click on next so here we need, need to define some specifications version 2.0 so title would be a addition description would be same and application version version 1.0 host port name 
schemas you can select as https and application slash json application slash json click on next and here we need to define the rest resource so this is our add rest resource click on finish okay so here you can see all the details like title description everything after that in rest resource you can check here this particular details rest definition tags and security definition and this thing is important like swagger file generate so copy this swagger file this file is required to create a rest api so ctrl c and open one notepad delete this one and ctrl v file save where news seven dot json this is a json basically and then go to web method dot io api gateway this is web methods api gateway okay cloud so here click on apis so add filter like rest soap o data graphql different different apis are there okay so we are looking for some addition related rest api so click on rest option create api and browse this particular file news 7 right so open give the name here add rest api fun type you can see open api raml swagger visual graphql hdl so we have a swagger file click on swagger version is a v1 and description you can mention as a addition demo details okay and then click on create so here guys you can see name version owner active majority state then created description technical information as well as well as once you expand this addition then you here you can see all the details like parameters status code and documentation so if you want to download this swagger file raml file everything you can download from here otherwise if you want to open this particular swagger file on your browser so copy this link paste it here and then enter here we required a web method dot io api account or uh, credential details okay so i already log in so it uh, not required to log in again so you can enter your api gateway details and here you can see this particular swagger file okay if you want to activate this rest api then click on activate option click on yes and if you want to check it is activated or not so here you can see this particular option this is active okay if you want to publish it you can publish if you want to unpublish by using this option you can uh, uh, like unpublish and if you want to delete by this option you can delete if you want to delete any kind of uh, api details then particular type you can select select this checkbox before that you need to deactivate this api then you can delete okay and click on that particular option like delete force delete okay so that way you can delete the apis okay so so guys that's all about today's demonstration i hope you like and enjoy this session so don't forget to subscribe like share and comment so we'll come up with a new session if you have any recommendation so please hit me up in a comment section thank you so much have a great